Why would you possibly want to print two tall objects one at a time on the same print bed? Well, I actually think it's a great idea, and in this video, I'm going to give you my reasoning as well as show you how you can do it too. Reason number one, printing one at a time creates smoother prints by reducing stringing. Reason number two, unlike all at once, if one fails, you don't typically lose all the other pieces, especially if you're printing a lot of pieces at once. Reason number three, it can save you time. You only need to run your start sequence once and wait for the bed to cool to remove the parts once. So you're gonna to wanna to open up all the tall objects you wanna print inside Akira, uh, and just place them on the build plate, and then go down on the right here and go to from all at once to print one at a time. Now, what you're gonna see is it's grayed out here um, and says that the build volume, it won't work. If you take a look, this line right here is actually the maximum height you can print multiples at once. So we're gonna increase that line height so it fits both objects. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go settings, printer, manage printers, select the printer you wanna print and go machine settings. And then the gantry height is the height that you want to uh, modify. So the gantry height is the difference between the nozzle and the x-axis uh, cross member. And so what you want to do is you want to change that gantry height uh, so it's higher than the objects you want to print, but lower than the total height your maximum print height is. So for me, I'm just going to put uh, 450, enter, and close. So now you see that this here, it can print right up within this box here. When you're printing two or more tall items, it matters where you place the objects and what order the print happens in. So, for instance, if you were to place the second object right beside the first object, what's going to happen is the head's going to move over and then it's going to try and go down right now. And then it hits the first object. And so then it's going to mess your 3D printer up or break the object one or the other or both, right? So what you need to do is you need to make sure that the second object, this gantry here, can clear it. If you put the second object right behind the first object, then what will happen is you have to worry about this uh, with the fans and where the extruder is. See, that can hit the first object. So if you print them staggered, then you can have the front of the second object right here. And then it will be able to come down and it will clear the first object. And then you can put the third object staggered as well if you want to go for three objects. Now, you could have them a bit closer like that. I like to play with a bit of margin of safety, so I don't like to try and cram it too much. So let's say you were printing something like this. This is actually above the gantry height of the regular Ender 3. So you would still have to do the exact same thing, but as long as you know where the high point is on this and you make sure it doesn't have a chance to hit the x-axis or hitting the fans, you're good. If we slice this up now, and when we go to preview, what we can do is we can drag down and see which one prints first and which one prints second. Now that we know the order they're printing in, what I find best is to actually print the one in the front first and then move and print the one behind it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure it's completely behind it. So that way when it's done printing and it comes here, it's not gonna have a chance of hitting it. Uh, and to me, that looks like it's right behind it. And now when I hit slice, we go to preview. So now it's gonna come up, it's gonna finish printing this one, and it's gonna hop onto this guy here. I hope some of you found this information helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to get to it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.